Hey, what's going on guys? It's Uncle Kobe and today I have some cool Black Ops 2 information and tips that's all about zombies and more specifically the buildable items in zombies. So when the trailer first came out for zombies we saw a glimpse of a thrown together riot shield that led us to believe that we were going to be able to create items that would help us as we just kill a buttload of zombies on the transit game mode and today I have all six of the buildable items, uh, what they're made of and where to find them as well as the bus upgrades uh, that you can find and soup up your transportation. So first off we have the turbine and it's made out of a fan blade which is on some seats as seen here, a mannequin torso which is leaning up against the sign and a tail fin which is near the lockers and obviously you guys don't have the game yet so the locations aren't as important but I'll most likely make a video on all this stuff once you guys do have the game uh, but what the turbine actually is is a portable power source and it's extremely useful as you play so at every bus stop except bus stop 4 I believe there are doors that read you need a power source these rooms contain bus upgrades as well as some of them have claymores or grenades and you will also need this to get into the pack-a-punch machine so obviously this is something you're gonna wanna get and uh, make so you have the ability of getting all these awesome items that will help you along your way but next one we got is zombie shield we saw this in the little trailer of the zombies and it's made from a car door found in the garage and a dolly found in the diner this one's pretty obvious how it'll help you it's basically a redneck riot shield and uh, it should be very useful so the next one is machine gun turret and what you're gonna need is a machine gun obviously which is found either in the house or the barn an ammo pouch found either in the kitchen or the living room of the house and a lawnmower found around the sides of the house and I'm pretty excited to see what this thing can do I just picture just a horde of zombies coming towards me and I pop on the turret and watch the bloodbath ensue uh, points racking up hopefully you do get points for it and uh, yeah this thing just sounds awesome but next we have the electric trap and we've actually seen this before as well however at the time we didn't quite know what it was but it's made from a TV tube which is on the windows upstairs from the bench at the bus stop a car battery which will be sitting on the barrel around the same area and a Tesla ball assembly found usually beside the tombstone soda so from the picture it doesn't really look like much of a trap but I'm sure it must either kill the zombies or stun them from a short period of time something along those lines but next we have the Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23 and we've also seen this but no one had a clue of what it was tons of videos were made guessing you know what it was saying it was the wonder weapon and all this stuff but first it's made from a jet engine found in the tunnel between bus stops 1 and 2 wire found in the same area as the electric traps part and a headlight found in the cabin where the bowie knife is between bus stops 4 and 5 handle found at the world at war section of the map on the right side of the road between bus stops 3 and 4 and when I say world at war section it's because there's a part of the map that's supposed to be the ruins of the Nocter Orton I'm not sure if I try to say that but anyways it isn't really a wonder weapon but it does shred zombies up to little pieces of piles of disgusting sludge literally that's what it does but there are quite a few downsides to it for one it's really heavy like more than you would expect and the gun will only deal exactly 50,000 damage points to a zombie horde before disappearing so it's pretty lame you know that it has a limit on it especially when you take so much time to make it you know finding all those parts so the last item is the nav card usage machine and first off you must play on the original difficulty at least to get it no easy mode here uh, but what you're going to need is the purple rock in the hole besides the mystery box location at the bus stop one control panel number one in that world at war part of the map uh, in the corn maze on the right side of the road between bus stops three and four a uh, wooden board under the stairs by the workbench at bus stop four and lastly control panel number two leaning against the dumpster besides the mystery box location at bus stop five so there's a lot of stuff here that you're gonna have to get for this one I'm not totally sure what it is exactly but I'm guessing the nav and nav card um, stands for navigation something you know it might help you get around a little easier something along those lines and lastly are the upgrades for the bus so first is the train grill which stops zombies from entering through the front windows a ladder that allows players to climb up to the roof of the bus from the outside hatch door which opens the roof for players to enter or leave the bus and there's also a three round burst pistol on the roof of the bus so again I know this was just a crap ton of information but in a week when you have the game and are playing zombies you can come back here and refresh your memory on all these things and like I said I was planning on making a video for you guys going in depth and hands on with all this stuff but anyways I hope you enjoyed the video it took a lot of time digging around for the stuff and editing it so if you did please leave a like maybe even a favorite that would be greatly appreciated later today I have a short video involving a Black Ops 2 early copy giveaway so be on the lookout for that hope you guys are having a great day this was Uncle Kobe I'll see you guys later peace